Hi everyone, welcome to Red Carpet With. As always, you're with me, Shah Shamshiri, and um, I don't stop interviewing talented and wonderful people. Today, another talented person, okay, I have to say this. For Red Carpet With, he is the first official full-blown actor, Malaysian actor, which we're interviewing for the show. And uh, I'd like to say hello to Bron Palari. Hi, Bron. Hello. Hello, hi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting. No problem. Okay, uh, I was telling him before we, we recorded the show, I'm a bit nervous because I've never interviewed him like personally like this. So this is my first time. You're making me nervous. All right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Stylo here. Uh, all right, first question before yeah. we go on. He, I'm actually uh, inviting him because he's got a movie coming out. Okay, but before we move on to that movie, we want to talk about him first. Yeah, okay? sure. So first of all, Bron, uh, I remember watching you on TV years ago as a TV host. Prehistoric time. Yes, yes. if you want to say that. You were a TV host way back then uh, with Dinas. Okay? Uh -huh. And then from out of nowhere, from, from hosting, you became, uh, I think, a TV actor and eventually now he's a film star. I use the word film star for wow. Bron Palari. Okay? How did that transition happen? From hosting, suddenly you became an actor. Okay. Uh, audition helped. Okay. <laughs> Um, <coughs> your intention actually that time when you joined the industry you wanted to be a TV host or you wanted to be an actor? Filmmaker. You wanted to be a filmmaker? Yeah, I attended film school okay. and then uh, did my, my internship with Lang Buana okay. with Mama Khalid's production and then uh, somehow on that set I get to meet this uh, producer from Astro. Okay. His name, his name was uh, Adi Samso. Okay. So he was the one, one of the few uh, big guys in Astro. So right after we, we shot Lang Buana which took like 65 days. Sort 65 of. days, okay. It was All a right. huge, massive movie. And then uh, he said he was looking for a, a TV host to replace uh, Zizan because Zizan had to move on and do his own thing. So he needs someone uh, whimsical, needs someone to be like, you know, let loose, you know, hang loose, things like that. Sounds, so like, said, you. sounds like Sounds like easy money. So I said, <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm, I'm going to go in and, and just say my lines. And then after the first audition it was okay and then they said uh, we need to pair you up with the, the lady host that we already, already got uh, don't worry don't get nervous she'll be here in a minute and then right after they said that like in five seconds later uh, I saw this massive girl lanky walking past by and I was like alright this girl is hot and they went alright that's the girl we're talking about Dinas. Yeah. So she ran in. Uh, at that time, I I was like, if I'm if I were gonna nail this job, I need to make her laugh. If she's not laughing, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, because you know you're gonna get like frozen by your own nerves. So uh, they asked her to to be by my side, and we went for one minute type of presentation. So she laughed for half a minute, okay. and I nailed the job. Oh, well done. Now, okay, you, you mentioned just now, okay, you when you saw her and everything, yeah. that, that was your big hosting debut, okay? Yeah. And then, um, but now as an actor, okay, those of you who remember watching Bron then, I remember because I watched him then hosting. I'm being honest, I think you make a better actor than a TV host. Okay. Yeah, I, I seriously agree as well. <laughs> okay. It's a totally different ball game altogether. Yeah, and you're doing very well as an actor. Okay. Now this thing about becoming an actor was already one big step. Eventually, you went into directing as well. And yep. uh, we all watched Kuala Lumpur. You remember <coughs> Patrick Harmony on the show before? Yep. And Kuala Lumpur was amazing. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, it was wonderful, very, very beautifully done. Um, but I was also informed by members of the media that it did not do as well as the producers expected. Okay, all right. We didn't so, expect anything except to pay back the loan. But uh, eventually, he didn't even <laughs> made enough money to pay back the loan yet. Okay, know? so yeah. that's why we want to know your comment. Okay, from an actor, you became a, uh, you became the director for it, part yeah. of the production team. Yeah. You know, the frustration of producing something so nice, because I didn't think it was a good movie, and I was like, what, it didn't do well? It was a bit hard to believe, okay? Your comment on that. Because you yourself, you're an actor. I don't know, it's part of the show. It's like you go to auditions and you don't get a job. Okay. Rejections, except this one, you presented a movie in the cinema, you do your rounds of interviews and things like that. Uh, the audience just somehow didn't want to watch it. Okay. But, but also, uh, we were there doing our rounds, uh, making surprise visits and all that. It wasn't only us. Okay. It was like all the other movies had the same problem as well. So it wasn't only us that affected. It's, it's, Bad timing, the economic factor, the, the, even the Hollywood movies that went together with us. 
sort of uh, the Hong Kong movie, the Hong Kong movie with and, uh, Andy Lau. I think it was Firestorm affected as well. So it's not really like all the other films were making well and only Kolumpo didn't, you know, do the business. Yeah. So it's, it's somehow like a sort of uh, the timing of it. But yeah, frustration, well, we, we, we sort of like get used to it. Um, being an actor help in Me? that direction. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> because you get rejections all the time. So you somehow, and after we, we had our conversations with people, so we realized, okay, in KL we made slightly better than Ula, okay. which, is, which at that time was really a, a, a great surprise. But outside KL, we were pretty much swallowed up by Ula totally. Okay. But then we came to the conclusion that Perhaps people outside KL just somehow couldn't relate with, you know, why should I watch a movie about KL? Yeah, yeah, why should I watch? So if you call it Penang, then the Penangites will watch it, is it? Uh, we and don't the know. rest will be like, why should I watch a movie about Penang? And, yes. you know, we have Kola Kanso. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right, um, I've got a lot more to ask actually. Yeah. We want to talk about Sejoli, your coming movie, of course, uh, that is uh, going to be aired very soon. Uh, but before that, we're going to take a very short breather, all right? Very coupled with uh, Ron Ballarin. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, don't go away. In February, on Lux TV, beautiful vistas are back with Destination. On the programme, escape to the blue sky of Athens. See Chicago like you've never seen it before and be enchanted with the mysteries of beautiful Venice. With Destination, every day of the week, Lux TV offers you more and more ideas on exotic and touristic resorts. The finest spas in the finest hotels, as well as the latest in fashion and cars. Discover other countries and other traditions on a long, exciting adventure or a short city trip. Destination is shown every day on Lux TV. Lux TV, your luxury channel. Just for luck, little Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Chris, and I'm running for your eighth grade class president. Shut up! Shut up! I can be a hero, be Fantastic. You are Iron Man. You are. You go like this, and this goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you jet off. Boom! Hi, we're back with Red Carpet with Bron Palari, okay? Mr. Very relaxed, extremely cool. I'm enjoying this uh, conversation so far. I'm trying to make you, you know, feel good about it. Because I just wonder, he's not feeling very well, actually. And despite all that, he made this effort to come here. So trust me, we really appreciate that. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks for that. All right, we move on from this whole frustration yeah. and then rejection. And oh, then, right. you know, and then we're talking about uh, acceptance, okay? From frustration, we actually talk about acceptance. Yeah. Okay, talking about acceptance, as an actor, you are very well accepted. You've done several films. Uh, you've acted in some really big ones, like Mumbai Redo, which went off the charts and everything. And now your coming one is called Sejoli. Now, yeah. from what I know, Sejoli is a romantic film. Yeah. Okay, and again, you've got Maya Karin in it. Somehow, Brown Palari always appears in movies with Maya Karin. Now, why is that? Is that coincidental or what? No, it's a sure bet. You know, when you go with her, it's hardly go wrong. <laughs> All right, so maybe you can tell us a bit about Sejoli and uh, your involvement in the movie. Uh, well, I actually did. I think I'm I'm sort of the last person who went on board okay. on this one. I was shooting Anak Jantan. Well, I know you know when when you're in the business, right? You somehow know what's what's cooking, what's brewing, what's okay. you know who's doing what. And I was doing on uh, with Farid Kamil, and and I think we had coffee with with Maya or something. Okay. And then Maya mentioned about this from com blah 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 with Smiley blah 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 blah. And then we go like, hey, they're doing a movie without us knowing this is, this is bad, man. And then, but, you know, we, we don't go like call up our smile and say like, la, 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 you know, we don't do that. So, really? we just... Really? You don't do that? No, we don't. Okay. So we just laugh, down, laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, seriously, we, we just laugh at it. And then, uh, I think two couple of weeks later, I got a friend who was supposed to go in. Mm -hmm. And then I was with that person. 
and uh, somehow Osman knew that that I was with that person, so he asked me to join in so I can read the lines behind the camera. Okay. So as you know, as a feeder, that's that's what people do during uh, auditions, and then I read the lines for that person. Okay. Eventually, Osman turned around and said, "Why don't why don't?" Uh, yeah, why don't you give that, that scene to him and let him read? And I ended up doing a scene myself. Uh, at that point, it was just for fun because I, I, the initial schedule was supposed to be, I think it was in November, so I was, I was still shooting my, my movie at that time. Then he said, well, if we just do it, if they like it, they're going to push it. So two weeks later, I got somebody from Osman's office uh, asking like, uh, when do you really wrap your production? And I asked like, when do you really want me to come in for this? <laughs> is, is, is this a sign? They said, yeah, we will probably pushing it anyway. It's not because of you, but yeah, we would love you to be on board. So yeah. It's really luck. It's really, exactly, really luck. Exactly. So you it's actually got it by chance. No yeah. plans, nothing. Okay. Um, so Jolie, from what I know, has uh, Brom Palare, Maya Karin, and two other actors we've got, Izara Aisha as well as Remy Isha. Isha. the fan of mine. Okay. All these big names, Azad okay? Azad Jasmine, Dira Abu Zaha. Of course. Uh, uh, Azad Jasmine, we remember him from Kolumpo. Yeah. Excellent, excellent acting, okay? Now, in this movie, Sir Jolie, uh, there are four main characters. Now, a romantic comedy or a romantic film will usually have... I mean, the, the normal ones, you expect two main stars to, yeah. to hold the movie. Exactly. Now, four people in it, how, how does that work? And then with Braun and Maya and Remy, you know? The set was fun. Okay. The marketing have less burden. Okay. <laughs> the expectation split into four. So, good and, deal. <laughs> very good deal. Okay, how does this work? What, who is actually the main focus of this four. film? All four? Four. Okay, and the story is about? It's about uh, me and Maya got dumped by our lovers. Okay. And then we, you know, sort of, uh, sort of like effing it okay. and try to move on with life. Okay, all right. Try to, to you know, fake, faking ourselves, trying to move on, trying to get away, try to, you know. So we somehow meet each other on our way to Phuket. Okay, all right. And over there, we, we get to meet and start to know each other. And, and the thing that rocks everything is when we find out that our exes were actually, you know, courting each ah. other. And we go like, no, we can't let this happen. Let's do something about it. Yes. Okay, so you guys try to break up the relationship of your exes. Exactly. Oh, sounds like something I've heard in real life, actually. No sounds surprise. very sassy, right? Yeah? But now we're seeing it in the movie, and I think it's very clever that you guys actually found, you know, this, this concept. Now, who yeah. wrote the whole the I whole think story? it was Osman and some people from the GB. I, I, I didn't know, like, I told you, I didn't, like, you know, really chance, know about it. Yeah. yeah, so by the time I came in, I think they went to already draft six or fifth draft or sixth draft, and yeah. Okay, well, uh, I'm looking forward to this movie because, as we know, there's... there's not many, okay, a lot of romantic comedies, but uh, the twist is different. I like the storyline for this one. And, um, you know, how does it feel working with Maya Karin? Like, say, you work with her all the time. Guys are dying to just meet her and you work with her all the time. On this know? one, headache. Why is it a headache? I don't know, because she, she, she sort of, she's the kind of person who really claims or really, really holds her character well. And when we say well, it means like, you know, it, it, she sometimes brought it up off that. Okay. So ah. when she play when she play Isa, for instance, in in Ombarindu, she was like always like you know with tears on the brink of you know crying all the time. So we didn't even talk on on uh, on Ombarindu set because she was like, and I didn't want to disrupt that that mood. So because normally when I go, I'm gonna crack some stupid jokes to make her laugh. So I didn't want. To. But on this one, she become so. I actually got annoyed, irritated because she was so clumsy on this one, just like in the movie. That you know, if we have during our lunch break, things will fall, things will fly off, things will go like. Oh. Uh. How amazing characters, huh? They can really get to you. I wonder whether that yeah, happens she, to you. Yeah, I don't know. She got swallowed up by her character, or the other way around. I don't know, but uh, things were flying off All during right. the shoot. But never mind. We got uh, what we wanted to know. Okay, yeah. now. Uh, my last uh, question, actually, we have come to the last question, all right? Yeah. Um, your expectation, okay, as a filmmaker and as an actor, uh, towards a Jolie, you said it before, Kolumpo didn't do so well yeah. due to certain reasons, but you've acted in movies which did very well. Yeah. Now, your expectations for Sejoli and why you think people should watch it? I think mean, it's high time, it's the right timing, uh, it's, you know, 
uh, for those who celebrate or those who don't, Valentine's Day. Okay. It's sort of, you know, it's the romance that comes with February. Okay. All right. And it's just like a week after. For those who, you know, miss doing something on the 14th, under whatsoever reason. Okay. So you can make it up on the 20th by watching Sejoli nationwide. 20th Sejoli nationwide. So okay. for those who are still in love, because with Osman Ali, it's always about meaningful films. It's not only about, about you know, making people laugh. Especially on this one, you're still going to go and get some meanings out of the movie. Okay. So it'll be a meaningful movie. So if you're looking for love, perhaps you might find one in the cinema or on the way out of the cinema. So it's, you know, have, you have all the reasons to watch, to watch Sejoli. Sejoli in February. Very well summarized. Okay, so guys, don't forget to watch Sejoli. It's coming out on the 20th of February. Yeah. Uh, I'm the, one of the lucky media members who get to watch it first before you guys. And trust me, I know I'm going to have a great time. So I'd like to thank you again, Ron, thank for you. joining us on Red Thanks Cup of Wish. It's been a super, super time. Uh, I've got more interesting guests on Red Cup of Wish. Uh, but today, with Ron Parin, this is all I have. So thank you for joining and we'll see you guys soon. See ya.